Hey guys, this is MacHeads1, and today is the video on how to install Ubuntu Desktop on your computer using two things. First of all, some free software called VirtualBox by Sun Microsystems. Okay, and the second thing is um, a copy of Ubuntu 8.04 or 8.10 Desktop. Um, so, in order to obtain these two things, um, first of all, VirtualBox is open source, so we know that it doesn't do anything bad to your computer, because I personally read through a bunch of the source code before downloading it, um, but, um, if you Google VirtualBox, and I will have a link to a good website for this, and then you click on, um, VirtualBox Downloads, and I will have a link to this, and then you say for OS X, and then you click Intel Max, it'll ask you to download this. And this is VirtualBox. Um, you will have to install it because it, it's very complex software. Um, okay, once you've done that, you have to download a file that looks like this, which is an operating system file. So um, that's actually the um, file for the live CD. So you go to Ubuntu.com. And um, I will point out that this will also work with Debian, but I'm not showing that. On, on this on this thing here on ubuntu.com on this thing it says get Ubuntu there's a download link and I'll have um I, I'll have a link in the description of the video to download the the, uh, the ISO that I got please select the location I'm just gonna say um, it really doesn't matter because I'm not actually gonna use this website to download but if you click begin download you click the URL and it'll ask you to download. Once you're done downloading, and that could take a very long time since this file is 698 megabytes, you should really choose a location close to you so that way it works. Once you've done downloading, we're going to install this on VirtualBox. So you're going to want to open up VirtualBox, and um, right here is VirtualBox, and you want to just click New, then click Next. Now what are we going to call it? We're going to call it Ubuntu 8.10, because that's the one I got, Desktop. Now under Operating System, we're going to select Linux, and under Version, we're going to select Ubuntu. Pretty simple. Now we're going to click Next. Um, this is how much RAM it's going to get. I'm just going to give it um, a gigabyte of RAM. If you only have a gigabyte of RAM, and you can find that up by going into about this Mac it'll say RAM is actually memory right here it says four gigabytes of memory so I have four gigabytes of memory if that says one gigabyte you should give it 512 megabytes it says two gigabytes give it one gigabyte it says three gigabytes give it 1.5 gigabytes etc so right here we're going to select one gigabyte which is 1000 megabytes and now we're gonna click next and now it's gonna say what hard drive do you want to do I'm just going to click New, then I'll click Next, now I'm going to click Fixed Storage, and then Next. Now I'm going to call it Ubuntu 8.10 Desktop. And now what size it, is the hard drive going to be? 8 gigabytes. I like 8 gigabytes, that's a good size for Ubuntu. Then you click Next, and so now I'll click Finish, and it's going to be called Ubuntu 8.10 Desktop.VBI, or VDI, sorry. Um, so this is going to take a little while to do, so I'm going to do a cut here. You can just make a sandwich or something while it's loading, so there you go. Okay, so as you can see, it's almost done, and um, what this process really is doing is creating a fake hard drive um, for me to use. So right here, it's 8 gigabytes large, and it's a .vdi file, so now I'll just click Next. And so now it's it's asking this is all the stuff um, that we want to set up with this. So now we click finish. Now it's important that you watch exactly what I do for the next part. You click on the Ubuntu thing you just created on the side. Now you click on CD slash DVD ROM. And now what you want to do is um, just make sure check mount CD slash DVD drive. And then instead of host CD slash DVD drive, check ISO image file. And now this right here is the um, image file I have right here, but that's really um, not going to be there by default. 
So you want to just click this little folder thing next to here. Then on this window, you can click Add. And then um, from here, you can select the thing on your desktop. And then click Select. And now it'll be right there. And then you want to click OK. So now you've set up the CD um, to be Ubuntu 8.10 Desktop. So now you want to click Start. So this is going to boot onto this um, basically fake CD that we have. Now we're going to hit enter because it selected English. And now um, even though install Ubuntu is an option, we're going to um, use the arrow keys and just select try Ubuntu without any change to your computer. So you just have to hit enter. Okay. And so, so far this is like booting into boot camp off the CD. It's pretty much like what we were doing there. The only difference with this is that we are going to install it through this. Because now we're on a virtual machine that only has 8 gigabytes and it won't affect our hard drive, whatever we do on this. So we can type rm-rf slash on this computer, on this virtual machine, and it won't even affect our hard drive um, at all, other than that one file that acts as this thing's hard drive. Um, so it's just going to boot up and it's going to take a while since it's booted from the CD, so I'm going to do a cut here while it boots. Okay, so right here it's loading my desktop, and um, so, yeah. So right here you can test out Ubuntu and all the stuff that you want to know if it works and stuff, but it's going to be twice as slow as it normally would be, and there's only going to be a teeny amount of storage. Um, so if we really want to install Ubuntu, um, there's this icon on our desktop called Install. We just double-click that. And um, so now that I've opened that up, I'll go through the uh, simple installation process of um, Ubuntu. So first of all, you select English and you click Forward. Okay, now I'll just select my time zone is New York. Okay, so now it's going to ask me um, this one more question. And I believe next it's starting the um, Partitioner which means that it's going to try to partition the 8 gigabyte virtual hard drive. So we want to select guided and then this this 8 gigabyte hard drive that we made. So we click next. Okay, so it's run the partition. Um next it's going to ask us to enter some personal information. Like what is my name? I am Alex Nickel. What is my username? Alex. What is my password? So now what is the name of this computer? I'm just going to say Alex Laptop. Now I'll say Next or Forward. Now I'll click Install. Now it's partitioning my system. And this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to do another cut here while it loads. Okay, so as you can see, I'm at 95% right now. And it should finish pretty soon. I'm just, I'm just waiting on it to finish now and it's just about done so um, once it's done it's gonna ask you whether you want to reboot or what and um, it, when it reboots and it'll just reboot the virtual machine not my computer so I can stay recording um, while it reboots which is pretty cool so now I'll click restart now okay now it's rebooting my virtual machine that we've made now when it reboots um, when it's shutting down right now, um, it'll ask you to hit enter. So just hit enter, and you don't need to open your CD tray. So hit enter. Now press F12 as soon as you see that screen. And press 1. Now it's going to, um, boot up on the virtual hard drive that we've installed Ubuntu on. So now it will log in, and I made a username earlier. I hope I remember what it is. Yeah, I don't remember what it is. Okay, so I, I, luckily I remembered, but, um, you have to make sure that you remember that, because otherwise you're kind of in trouble. So, here is my Ubuntu desktop, and, um, so you'll notice that this doesn't recognize your graphics card, so you can't do all the cool effects by default, and configuring that is very difficult, so, um, you might have to do that on your own. Um, but this is Ubuntu. 
Um, it may or may not work with your Wi-Fi network, probably not, like, I mean, like, the Wi-Fi might be disabled on Ubuntu, and you might just have to jack in using, um, an Ethernet cable, that's what I did. My Ethernet cable is currently plugged in. I'm also connected to Wi-Fi. I don't actually know why. But, um, so this is it. So, um... This is Ubuntu. Um, to right-click in this Ubuntu, hold two fingers on either side of the trackpad and click. And then you can say, eject volume, and that gets rid of it. I'm just going to show you one more thing. If you press, in the bottom right-hand corner of this window right here, it says left command. If you press that, it will escape your mouse from the Ubuntu window and your keyboard. And if you press it again, yeah. Left command is not a keystroke left key command. It's the command key on the left side of your keyboard. So thank you for watching Mac Hits and One. Subscribe. And goodbye.